Blue Devils working inside where Williams should have a huge size advantage at seven foot one. He gets deep into the paint and scores center stage. Yeah, you, you can't get beat in layup lines. Right. You, you know, you, you have to believe that you're supposed to be here and should be here. Goal, which is, of course, the NBA. Oh, and it reaffirms the, the defending better. He's rebounding. He's a captain on this team. Off the block. The other co-captain, Wendell. He's athletic. And he kind of floats in and out of games. He's been good against zone, but as Coach K told us today, you know, against zone. It... Quickly ahead. Griffin's pass knocked away. Bancaro gets it back, and he's tied up. Mark Schnur, the official on the baseline, says it was clean. To jump into the passing lane right here. Great anticipation, and that's a foul. His setup found Gillen's Butler, who could not make it. Bancaro back the other way. Baker, shot ready as old. Roach. Send our love to Sewell. And I hope he's getting better knee replacement. He's got that old man body, Sewell. Nine minutes remaining first half. Nice look inside. Bancaro goes up strong and lays it in. He's just being hounded by a bulldog in Trevor Keels. Keels, good fake. Anticipates the cut and leads Bancaro right to the bucket. He was fouled and will shoot two. Assists a game. And they look for each other and they move to open space. And that's not well defended. I don't... You look at like the Ohio State game, only 11 assists. You go back to Kentucky, only as who can do some stuff offensively and it is an unselfish team. Completely 21 assists to 10 turnovers. Uh, yeah, 10 turnovers. Here he is on the takeaway. Paolo missed. Games in order to, in order to potentially have your moment. Paolo Bancaro using his size, got a chance for three. What makes him special? He could play that muscle game. I mean, he can muscle you now, but he's also got a really nice finesse to him. Back to the basket game at this point in the low block. And digital media down there making your presence felt. Underway, second half. Bancaro. Blocks the shot attempt by Gerald Gillen's Butler. He had a lot of dribbling to get to that point. Like Graham really like, I mean, the Georgetown. Good high low. Pancaro off the feet from Williams. But the eight to take your head off, or so it seems. Sure was. Part of that, I mean, that was. Talk about defense. Game changing oh, yeah. defense. A good high-low here. You know, Williams to Bancaro. Marquette, who's their second all-time leading shot block? If you're anywhere in the top five at Marquette in any category, Griffin gives it back to Baker. His three ball rattles out. Griffin keeps it alive. Sure, on your non-conference. You, you, you have to come up with some marquee wins because once you get into conference play. High this afternoon, but because of a COVID pause in Syracuse, that game was called off. Shoot around today about Griffin and how he is rounding into form. And he said as much as anybody on this Duke team, he benefited from that two-week break, and he has really stepped up his game in the three games since. Well, they need help on the glass. I mean, that's the one area... And Carroll called with a charge. Baker and Williams, the five on the floor for Duke. A little high-low again. Here's Bancaro. Gets it blocked by Sam Sherry. Very short time. I mean, 26 hours ago, this was not on the schedule. For Cleveland State to come to Cameron Indoor. But they had to take a COVID pause. Then they really hurt Elon in the paint early in this game. And closed it out in this second half the way they should. Playing well. 